Welcome to the presentation of the paper The Relation of IT Usage, IT Skills and Field of Study, a Multiple Correspondence Analysis of First-Year Students at a University of Technology at this year's at Media Conference. This paper was written by a team of the Graz University of Technology, which is located in the heart of Austria and, as well, Europe, of course, and a member of the University of Malang, which is located in Indonesia. I am Sandra Schön, a Chang professor at the University of Malang in Indonesia. Today I present a collaborative research. This was done with my colleagues from the Educational Technology team at TU Graz. Walter Nagler is responsible for the data collection of our study beginner survey. Bettina Meyer did the presented analysis and our team leader Martin Ebner, my colleague Sarah Edelsbrunner and me supported literature research, interpretation and writing of the paper. The service department, Educational Technology, is responsible for all e-learning activities at Graz University of Technology in Austria. Again and again, differences in needs and previous knowledge of students depending on their fields of study are perceived. Within our present paper, we aim to find out exploratively whether there are indeed such groups of subjects where first-year students differ in terms of their IT skills and equipment. With the data for our annual survey amongst first-year students at TU Graz, similar analysis concerning possible correlations of Web 2.0 behavior and fields of studies was conducted. And clusters emphasized, such as architecture students hate Twitter and love Dropbox, were found. Within this contribution, which I present now, the current data from the September 2020 survey of freshmen at TU Graz is the basis for analysis. This paper aims to determine whether it might make sense to assume that students have different prerequisites depending on their chosen field of study at TU Graz and, for example, to offer different targeted messages for first-year students. So, our research questions are these. We want to know if there are differences and similarities between students of various fields of study at TU Graz in terms of prior knowledge, behavior, and equipment around IT and digital learning. And if this might be the case, we are wondering if it does make sense to adapt the strategies of the Educational Technology Department targeting first-year students based on their study subjects or groups of study subjects. The basis for the analysis presented in this paper are the answers of 955 students on questions such as their chosen major, the extent of IT usage in general and for learning, IT skills, participation in online courses and other as described. Interpreting associations of several complex categorical variables solely based on contingency tables might be challenging, sometimes even impossible. Therefore, a method that gives the opportunity to graphically discover similarities and dissimilarities between different comparison groups using multiple other categorical variables was used. For the analysis, we have chosen the multiple correspondence analysis. MCA, the short form, is an exploratory multivariate technique that visualize cross-tabular data. Here you see the result of the multiple correspondence analysis. Based on relative frequencies, the associations between variables are visualized as points in a low-dimension plot. In our case, the plot has two dimensions. So, the closer two profiles are located to each other, the more similar they are with respect to the latent characteristics represented by the two axes. Within this plot, we can see distinct clusters of field of studies, marked with ellipse in, in the figure. So you see a building cluster on the left, which is a combination of architecture and civil engineering science. You see a science engineering cluster at the top, which is biomedical engineering, environmental system science, 
chemical and process engineering, and an IT cluster on the right, which includes software engineering, computer science, and information and computer engineering. And below, you see your electrical mechanical engineering cluster, which is a combination of electri ele electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, mechanical engineering, and business economics. So this is a different visualization. You now see the parameters of the column points. So within this table you can see that the highlighted cells indicate that these study fields contribute more to the dimensions than expected. We use the same colors as in the plot. So the next question is, if there are differences in between some study field clusters, which are they and why? Therefore, we present the spatial distribution of the students' IT skills and usages, the variables listed above, which are general IT usage, IT usage for learning, IT skills, online courses, coding basics at school and IT usage at school to the plot. You can see that some contribute more clearly to the alignment of the two axes. The first dimension of the MCA is mainly characterized by the variables IT skills, more precisely by the contrast between low and high IT skills. The items online courses often, online courses never, and whether one has acquired basic programming skills at school also contribute to the alignment of the first axis. The left-hand side is therefore characterized to an above-average extent by students who have low IT skills, did not gain programming skills at school and never take online courses, while the right-hand side of the first axis is characterized to an above-average extent by students with high IT skills, accompanied by existing programming skills and cooperatively frequent use of online courses. The second dimension of the MCA is somewhat more difficult to interpret. There is no emerging pattern as clear as in the first dimension. The second axis also explains less of the total variance. So the variable coding basic at school contributes most strongly to the alignment of the second axis. The lower part of the plot is more likely to contain students who did not acquire basic programming skills in the schools, while the upper part contains students with programming skills. Within this table, you can see how the variables contribute to the axis as well. So, IT skills are more relevant for axis 1, coding basics at school are most relevant for the axis 2. This is the byplot of the MCA with column points, row points and supplementary points. It shows that the fields of study previously identified as similar can be distinguished regarding the first dimension, primarily in terms of IT skills. Students in the building cluster at the left are characterized more than average by low IT skills, do not take course online and have not been taught programming skills in school. In contrast, the IT cluster is characterized by high IT skills, frequent use of online courses and pre-existing programming skills. Regarding the remaining fields of study, IT skills do not seem to be a differentiating factor. The second axis shows that certain fields of study are similar in that students are recruited from similar types of schools, while the electrical mechanical engineering cluster seems to attract mainly students from federal secondary colleges of engineering, which are called HTL in Austria, Students in the fields of study represented in the upper part of the byplot, the science engineering cluster, are mainly recruited from grammar schools. In the first two clusters, on the left and right with high and low IT skills, however, no school type emerges with an above average frequency. So let's discuss our research. The strengths of MCA is as mentioned at the beginning, that one can examine a multitude of categorical variables for possible correlations and that the analysis is supported by a graphical presentation. That was really nice. Otherwise, 
it is hardly manageable on the basis of cross tabulation alone. On the other side, the weakness of MCAs in general is that they are, of course, highly dependent on the author's interpretation, for example, which variables are included in the model and which are omitted. Practically, for the education ecology team, it is helpful to see that the subjects architecture and civil engineering science and construction management are positioned in the MCA in such a way that they stand out as subjects where students possess rather low, self-assessed IT skills. However, the items in the survey address really advanced activities. So we cannot clearly conclude to find low IT skills in general, but we guess it's not a big surprise that future computer scientists have more advanced skills already in the beginning of their studies. Nevertheless, practically, this explorative research will not concretely influence the practice of the educational technology team, although it gave interesting insights. Practically, we are awaiting big changes and more similarities for the prior online learning experiences within our next generation of study beginners at TU Graz because of the COVID-19 pandemic and the experiences they made in for distance learning in schools. As usually, these slides as well the presentation is available under CC BY, so an open license. The final paper will be published in the Ad Media conference proceedings, but we as well published a preprint at ResearchGate. You find it if you use the QR code. So, if you have any open questions on our research or work, please contact Martin Ebner, the leader of the educational technology team at TU Graz. Thanks. Thanks a lot for listening and joining this presentation.